Nuts and welcome to Dad's Review Channel. I haven't got anything in my hands on this one, but you can see from the picture behind what I'm reviewing. And basically, L Style sent me a bunch of stems and flights to test and review. And specifically, it's the L Style Champagne flights. Uh, there's a variety of shapes and colours. Um, so I'm not going to list everything on the intro. I'll do that. Uh, in the next part when I'm showing you them and I'll also put the prices up when I'm gonna uh, show you the description of each one so let's check them out okay I've got quite a lot to show here so what I'm gonna do is I'll just go through the uh, flights and stems and then I'll put some pictures up in more detail of uh, each stem and flight with measurements and also I'm going to wear them as well just so you know exactly what each one wears. Um, first of all I'll just go through the uh, different shapes but I don't know if you can see all the colours I've got here. That's pretty much all the colours that you can get but I think there's some new colours out so I'll post a picture up uh, in the post editing of the video so you can see all the colours. And what I have here is I've got a standard shape, I've got the teardrop or pear shape, I've got kite, that one's just called shape, that one's called rocket, that's slim, that's astra, that's bullet, and I've got uh, the dimple flight in the fan tail, and there's a few in the dimple range and that's kind of like what you get on the golf ball, the little dimples. Uh, so that's the flights. I'm going to open one in a minute, so don't worry. And there's three types of stems here. I've got the straight, locked, and what the locked means is it means it just doesn't spin. It's just a, a like a normal flight uh, stem, sorry, or shaft if you want to call it a shaft. And they're in four sizes. I've got the L130, L190. L260 and the L330 and basically that's extra short, short, in between and medium and they're also available in the slim size so I've got LS300, LS370 and the LS440 again I'll show you these close up in a minute and um, there's also a spinning shaft and this is called the silent spin and it's basically the same kind of shaft except it's got a spinning top and it's in the same size as again so you've got 130, 190, 260 and 330 and also you've got various colours and they all come with the champagne or shell uh, cap or ring and there's also carbon fibre ones available so I've got these in the medium size, that's the 330 in the straight lock, which means the non-spinning flight, and that's the 300 in the slim lock, and this is the 330 in the silent spin, so that's a, a spinning carbon shaft. Again, I'll show you them in a close-up in a minute. So. And you can also get the champagne ring separately, so you can get the plastic ones and that's best if you're playing soft tip but if you're playing steel tip you might want to go with the metal ones because they uh, prolong the life of the flight better and obviously with a steel tip point it's going to be more durable with the metal and there's also these which is the back balance champagne rings and these have a small amount of tungsten in so if you want to add a little bit of extra weight to the back of your dart you can. So I'll just have a quick look at the standard. Right, these um, little boxes are little plastic boxes but they're quite neat because if you take all the uh, flights out inside there's a little plastic holder to keep the flights nice and um, straight so it's quite a nice neat little thing that I am um, just something I'm trying to see what I'm doing here through the camera but <laughs> it's a bit awkward so it's a nice little addition to the packaging that quite useful now these flights will work with any stems but obviously 
they're going to work best with the L style stems but it's not necessary if you just want to put them on a normal stem you can works fine and obviously the advantage with the molded plastic flights is the perfectly 90 degree angle on the wings and with the L style flights they're a little bit softer and lighter than some of the other brands so not quite as heavy on the back so better balance and also with the wings being a bit softer and more flexible less deflections and I'll just get one of the I'll get the medium because that's basically what I do so I'll use the medium stem and I'll show you um, what it is when it's attached but then I'll show you a close up so you can see it in more detail and when you take it out of the packet it's got the little champagne ring on the top so put that on your on your flight in the hole so it's in there and then you just put it on so if you're playing soft tip and you've got the plastic uh, thing um, champagne ring your point will just go over that so it prevents robin hooden and the neat thing with the L style shafts is just around about here there's a little flight guard so the leading edge of the wing lines up with that and that helps protect the leading edge of the wing I'll show you in a close up just now and it's a very neat looking flight and also the edges are slightly reinforced so they're a little bit stronger than the the main body of the flight but as you can see it's quite a soft flexible flight so it should be handy if you got an incoming dart the flight should bend out the way cause less deflection because some molded flights are a little bit harder and may cause more deflections so that's just a quick look at them so what I'll do now is I'll show you a close-up of uh, the flight and the stem and we'll have a look at the uh, spinners in close-up as well all right I'll just do some close-ups of the stems and flights this is the straight locked and like I said lock just means it doesn't spin but as you can see the flight is a perfect 90 degree angle um, slightly uh, reinforced on the, the leading edges and on the top which is why it looks a little bit uh, different there like a shiny plastic and very flexible like I already said but if we have a look at the uh, stem itself that's the little uh, flight guards They're just little bits of uh, triangular shaped plastic that line up with the edge of the wing so gives it a little bit of extra protection so when the flights are coming in and they're hitting another flight just adds that little bit of protection and also the champagne ring like I said helps to prevent uh, Robin Hooden onto the stem um, basically that's it and it's very secure and you can see the little flight guards a little bit better there and the actual um, stem itself it's easy to put the flights in They've got just the right amount of width not no struggle to get them in and the champagne ring just goes over the top of the stem so makes a secure fit so that's your standard shape with the straight clocked uh, this one is the silent spin so just as you imagine it, the top spins but it's not rattly it doesn't uh, shake about when you when you move it it's just a, a nice smooth spin no rattly noise or anything and obviously this is the fantail dimple flights uh, got a nice feel to them actually but I'm not really sure how effective dimples are through the air because it's only a short distance that you throw your darts but I don't know 
maybe some people see the effect but nevertheless you've got a choice and it's always good to have plenty of choice so just have a close look at this stem if you can see there's like a kind of a little lip there it looks as if it's yeah, you probably see it better there but the same kind of design except it just spins on that one and this is the locked slim so it's quite a bit thinner and a more flexible shaft so if you're the kind of person that needs less weight on the back then you may want to go with this kind of stem all depends how you throw your dart and how they fly through the air and how you like them to be balanced etc but again you've got plenty of choice and this is the slim carbon fiber stem obviously because it's carbon fiber it's not as flexy as the plastic one but it's obviously going to be lighter because it's slim and made of carbon fiber but um, I'm not sure how the weights will compare because I don't have every uh, size of stem so I'll just compare the size that I do have and on this one I've put the metal champagne ring it's uh, quite nice in the gold colour there on the black but the carbon fibre stems are meant to be more durable obviously they're more expensive but they should last longer and this is the carbon fibre silent spin so it's the same design as the other spinner um, the main body is plastic and then the top spinner section is carbon fibre but still got the same design with the flight guards and once again I've got the gold metal champagne ring but um, it's not a like a really loose kind of spin it just spins just enough to help with the deflections of your darts but it uh, hasn't got that loose rattly feel that you get with some spinny shafts so I may have a go at throwing some darts with these ones on trying to aim for anything specific I'm just trying to get some dart on dart contact just to see how the uh, the flights move out of the way but um, throwing the darts it just feels like a normal setup it doesn't feel like I've got a spinny stem on there's no loose or rattly feeling like you sometimes get with spinny stems um, Actually feels a quite a, a nice setup to throw. Nothing's getting loose. Nope. If I didn't know there were a SP stem, I probably wouldn't know any different really. It'd only be if I seen them spinning or if I start to spin with my fingers. But that was the, that would be the only way that I could tell it's a spinny stem. But it seems to be flying fairly smooth, so seems okay to me. Um, 
don't know whether the darts are feeling just slightly more front weighted than they were with the previous setup that I had on. I think the other setup I had may have been slightly a heavier stem and flight, but uh, it's a little bit hard to tell that. Um, but I do like the uh, the look of these. I like those little metal champagne rings. It looks very nice in the gold against the black. Nice contrast. So what I'm going to do is obviously I can't do a full test in just a short video so I'm going to carry on playing with them for a week or maybe a couple of weeks and then I'll just report on the forum review how I get on but so far feels fine um, like I say it feels nice to throw and I'd say if you're going to go for them you may be better off going with the spinning stem if uh, you want to prolong the life of the flight but um, it's nice that you've got quite a variety to choose from. You've got the lock, the straight, and the uh, slims. So there's plenty of choice there and plenty of colours, and also you've got plenty of lengths. And especially with the slims, you've got a couple of extra uh, lengths. So quite a good uh, system. And also, it's good that they've got the metal ones for the steel tippers, and the normal ones probably best for soft tippers. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.